Salamu Musumba echoed the main agenda for the symposium during the grand welcome of the 36 members that were kidnapped while attending a leadership workshop in Kenya. The country needs to be reminded that the people you see here are members of the Forum for Democratic Change who as part of the ongoing training that we have done over the last 20 years grooming leaders, mentoring leaders, networking with neighbors, with the region, with the continent, and with the world. The Kisumu 36 persons include Innocent Museveni, Obang Walter, Wazige George, Bukenya Chaos Suranga, Sozi Ronald, Nkonge Chaos, Bukenya Hakim, and Dr. George Okelo, among others, narrated how they were arrested and how their human rights were violated while in custody. When people were actually, I heard people as if they were uh, robbers, kicking doors. I heard colleagues crying. I heard, of, of, of course, and is, is in Konge Charles, I heard, what is your name? Nkonge Charles, where are you from? I am from central, central Uganda. I've been to ask. We were handicapped, whether you're a woman, whether you're a man, it did not matter. We were handicapped from behind, all three of us women, including the men, for 13 hours, close to 14 hours. The acting party president, People's Front for Freedom, and Lord Mayor, Area Sulukwago, highlighted how the legal fraternity is championing the change of many laws in Uganda. The courts of Kenya are also being challenged to take action and uh, the Honorable Salam Sumbahia talked about the High Commission giving us a response. We are still pursuing all that. The president, Uganda Law Society, Isaac Semakade, highlighted how Uganda has always bleached the international laws of asylum. Since the very creation of the Ugandan state, the very creation of Uganda began with a series of abductions where legitimate leaders were forcibly taken from one jurisdiction to another imposed one. Famously, our kings Kawarega and Mwanga were seized in 1899 and held in the seashells. They passed through Kenya, like you. We must sue and we must petition. Kenya should be safe ground for Ugandans seeking asylum. The symposium was attended by leaders including Harold Kaija, MPs Francis Mwijuche, Semuju Nganda, and other leaders like Nangonzi Farida, Nyanjura Dorin, and the Legal Fraternity. Brian Tumwinebiaruhanga, EUBC News. I surrender, never.